Hello everyone and welcome to DGRC. Today's video we have the brand new HBI Savage XL. Uh, this is the 5.9 Nitro version. I have been waiting way too long for this. It feels like it was well over a year ago when we sort of see the brand new Savage uh, coming back for HBI. And yeah, we've been waiting far too long to get the XL. But it's finally here and I cannot wait to get this one out. This is going to be the ultimate Nitro basher 100%. So as you can see, there's a lovely photo there of the new XL on the front. And down at the bottom here it has big block power, 45 mile an hour plus. We'll definitely be testing that and finding out if that's true or not. Uh, we've got the new type wheel there. It's a free speed transmission, aluminum head and tuned pipe. 17 mil hex hubs there for the wheels and it comes with a roto start not many nitro vehicles nowadays do come with a roto start so that really is a nice feature there from hbi um, it's quite a big engine you don't really want to be pulling at the pull start your hands are going to be knackered after a couple of uh, uh turns with that so yeah that's a real nice feature from hbi a lot more companies should be doing it, i think especially when you're paying the big money you do for these sort of uh RC cars. As you can see, the box has been absolutely destroyed at the top here. Let's spin it around and take a look what we have on top so we can kind of just see the Savage there. And again, just a free speed transmission. And there's a picture of it. Let's uh, get the camera set up and get this unboxed then. Okay, then let's uh, open up and see what we get inside the box. So, first thing to come out is we have a Roto Start. And as you can see, you know, <laughs> just your classic roto start. You put the uh, your sort of key in there, clip that in, and then you can push that into the back of the engine, turn it over, and then that's how you fire it up. You do need a battery to go in it. Um, hello. Now, I don't have any conduit because I don't see a plug in there for the battery. And as far as I'm aware, batteries don't run off Bluetooth. HPI? I feel like you've pulled me pants down here. A few moments later. Ah, there it is. It's hidden. <laughs> Fair play. So. Obviously you put your battery in and then your cable's gonna stick out there and it plugs in there. It's like a little Tamiya plug. Fair play HBI, you hit that well and you definitely tricked me because I was thinking, what the hell's going on here? So yeah, plugs into there. And then like I say, you put your key in, into the engine, press the button, turns it over, saves the uh, the skin inside your hand after you, you know, instead of pulling the old cord a million times. Also get a lovely set of AA batteries there for the transmitter, which we have here. And HBI have upgraded it to a TF50. Feels quite nice in your hand. It's got this little rubber um, grip there, so it feels really good. You're not going to be able to do it one-handed unless you've got super long fingers. Mine are short and fat. But um, yeah, feels quite nice in your hand. Um, obviously that's your on button and then you've got all of your adjustments there for your steering trim and throttle trim and all of them sort of extra features you're going to need so yeah it's quite a nice transmitter actually um, also we've got a manual in the box don't forget to always read your manual some extra stickers there because you're going to need to know the braking in procedure and how to get the most out of your engine now for the fun part. Let's get it out and get rid of the box. Oh, we have some other bits in the box. What have we got? Some bumpers, I'm guessing. Uh, Multi-tool. Some extra uh, pins for your body. Uh, another little tool in there. More tools and possibly a socket for the wheel nuts. Yeah, let's throw that to one side. Let's get the box out of the way because we don't need that anymore. There we go, the brand new Savage. Let's take this plastic off and take a look inside. Oh, I can't even pull the new body pins off.
That one's going straight in the bin. Okay then guys, so here it is out of the box and that shell is actually such a good looking one. I love the HBI colors with the orange and the black and a bit of gray in there. Big logo on the front there. Of course the Savage and on the side here, Savage XL 5.9 big block. Real exhaust tips coming out the side of it. So, okay, so now we've took the uh, shell off and taken a look at the actual chassis and what we do have inside. Um, as you can see, starting off with these massive Havoc wheels, six spoke, they are humongous with the 17 mil um, hex hubs in there. As you can see for the massive big bore shocks that we have on this, we have four of them, of course, on each corner. We've got double wishbone suspension, sort of real he heavy, thick plastic material. Nice top link there as well. Plastic hubs. Uh, of course, we've got metal dog bones. Lovely bit of grease in there. It's always good to see. Hopefully, they're going to, uh, you know, be nice and strong and sturdy because we want to do some big jumps with this. As you can see underneath, we've got that dual disc brake in there to hopefully get it stopping quite quickly. And starting inside, you've got a free shoe um, aluminum clutch. You've got a steel um, spur gear there. And then moving on to the engine, it's the 5.9 cc engine. It's gonna, you know, you're gonna get a lot of torque out of that. Hopefully, a lot of power, a lot of noise, of course, because of uh, you've got an aluminum uh, header there with an aluminum tuned pipe. So you're definitely gonna get the classic nitro high pitch noise coming out of this. That's gonna be good. The um, electrics on it. Um, You've obviously got the T50 transmitter and the RF50N nitro receiver in there, and it's got a low voltage um, cutoff, so that's always good. You definitely want a foul safe with these. They're big enough um, RC cars, and the last thing you want is for this to just take off and head into a tree, a hedge, a car, or wherever you're running them. So that's obviously a real good feature there from HPI, and this thing is just a monster. It really is massive. Look at that. It's got loads of uh, play for the suspension, so you could definitely do some massive jumps with this, and it's just absolutely going to shred, no problem. Those massive big bore um, oil filled um, shocks there, and then of course you obviously got metal diffs in there. I like the uh, the little orange aluminum pieces that you can see running through parts of the chassis at the side here. We've got a massive fuel tank, which we're definitely going to need to provide for that 5.9 cc engine. It's probably gonna drink quite a bit of it. Um, as you can see, we've got that steel spur gear there. And then inside, you've got a free speed transmission. Um, and HP, obviously, they do say that you're gonna get 45 plus out of it. So that would definitely be interesting. We'll have to put the Sky GPS on that and find out whether it definitely can. Um, oh, look, the chassis is even engraved, so not stickers. That's quite a nice little feature as well. So yeah, you know, this should be very sturdy. If it's anything like the other Savages, you know, they do last well. They, they had a few hiccups. It'll be interesting to see, uh, once we get this running, whether HPI have actually stamped them out and, um, you know, put right to maybe what they should have done in the first place. So that's the video there for the HPI Savage XL. I cannot wait to get this out, get it broken in and start shredding up some fields and some big jumps with this. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe if you're already not because I'm bringing loads of Nitro content. If you haven't watched the most recent video, I put it up the top right hand corner there. Go check it out. It's kind of like my RC car collection, what you know will be coming up in the next sort of few um, future videos. We've got like three Nitro buggies that we need to get taken out to a brand new, so we need to get them broken in get them head to head and also get this out and have an absolute blast with it. I cannot wait. It's big. It's massive. It's going to definitely rip up a few fields. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Guys, thank you very much. Peace out.